So it's the 18th of August and I'm here in the north of Italy in the city of Turin or as they call it here, Turino. Um, so <laughs> again, sorry to Italian people watching these videos. As always, whatever country I'm in, I make a mess of the language. So here we are. I'm about to start the run here. I think this run is going to take us to the point of being over 10% of the way through the Run Everywhere Challenge. Uh, that would be 103 kilometers. I think this run might tip us over that edge. So that's gonna be exciting if it happens. Let's see how far I get. So here we are at the River Po that runs through Turin and yeah, it's been a bit of a complicated week. Um, yesterday was supposed to be the day that a video would be published on this channel, it was Wednesday um, and no video got published uh, because it's been so hectic, I've had so much going on, uh, it's just thing after thing this past week, uh, nothing, nothing particularly bad or anything. Don't worry, first world problems. Um, but yeah, just causing a bit of a delay in the filming running videos game. So that's why there's no video coming out yesterday. This one will come out next Wednesday. Um, so yeah. One of the things that's gone wrong in the past week is Will was supposed to be on this trip with me. We had it all booked together. It's Will's birthday this week. We are supposed to be coming out here to Turin to celebrate his birthday, have a great time together. Um, the UK Home Office had other ideas. They didn't process his indefinite leave to remain in the UK in time. And when you have an application pending, you can't leave the country. So he's trapped in the UK at the moment. That's why he's not out here with me in Turin, which is really sad because this was supposed to be the trip we were doing together. He insisted that I come uh, by myself because tickets are non-refundable at this point. Too late notice. Um, so we didn't want all the money we paid to go to waste. It is sad that I have to be here by myself. Not as fun, not as enjoyable. Although it is a beautiful view here over a river in the evening in Turin. It's been a really cloudy day but there's a few bits of blue sky coming out now this evening. We've also been looking at houses, putting offers in on houses because we want to move out of London somewhere in the suburbs. More space, more land, a big garden where we can settle down a little bit. And about a week ago we decided spontaneously to buy a car because somebody we knew was selling one. It's a really old one, it's a really small one, but neither of us have ever owned a car before. I don't even know how to drive, so I'm going to have to learn. In the week that we've had the car we haven't actually driven it once. And it's weird because I keep forgetting that we have a car. I keep randomly remembering. Oh yeah, we have a car now. Uh, we haven't used it. We're probably not going to use it much in London because London isn't really great for cars. We have good public transport. Uh, it's more, if we move out to the suburbs, we might need it a bit more. Going on holidays, day trips, that kind of thing. Probably not going to use it very much. But it's good to have it around for those few and far between instances. So with all of this stuff going on, there just hasn't really been much time for making these videos, which is a shame because I do enjoy making them. It's just been far too busy with everything going on. Just run past that really cool fountain. Usually on these videos, I would do a bit of research before coming out. I'd plan a route, look at the landmarks along the way, learn some facts about them. So I just haven't had the effort to do that this time. Um, so this is just very impromptu going out here. I didn't even really plan a route. Don't really know where I'm going. 
just out having some fun exploring, finding new things. I didn't know that fountain existed and I found it through running, which is fun. This is kind of a whole purpose of this uh, challenge originally was to go out there and find things through running. Um, so I guess kind of getting back to that core idea of what I'm doing. It is very pretty here, down by the river, really relaxing. So originally I was thinking about running down here along the river, then curving back, running through the city centre. But I actually think I'm not going to do that because the streets are really crowded, it's really busy, I'll be running into people, it'll be stressful. Um, I'm just in the mood to relax, it's been a long week. And so I think I'm just going to run back along the river, enjoy being out here in the tranquil surroundings, this parkland along the river. There's a lot of other runners out here along the river today. Running has always been good at helping me relax when I've had a stressful week, a stressful few days. Um, I'm starting to feel those effects now, which is good. I usually find around five kilometers into a run, I start to enter like a bit of a trance. I start to just enter the zone and just enjoy it. No more bad feelings, just enjoying being out on the run. So, a little over seven kilometers completed today, which is good by itself, but more importantly, it means we've hit two big milestones. First one, I've now run over 100 kilometers as part of this project. The second one, I've run over 103 kilometers as part of this project, which is the 10% mark. 10% of the 1,030 kilometer total. If you remember back to the first episode of the series, I explained where the total came from. 1,030 kilometers is the distance from my home in London to Nice in the south of France. And I thought it'd be really cool to say that I've run the equivalent distance of running from my home to the south of France to the Mediterranean Sea. Um, it's a bit random but it's something that I thought was a really cool target to work towards for this series. 10% of the way there. I don't know how long it's going to take me. It might take me several years to get there. That's fine. There's no rush. Um, just enjoying it. Enjoying exploring new places. Using running as a way to get around probably doesn't show up well on camera but this view behind me is pretty amazing into the hills. Here in Turin we're actually not too far away from the Alps. I actually took a train into the Alps earlier today, did a bit of a hike while I was there. But now I'm gonna walk back to my hotel and relax. I think I've earned it today so gonna do that. I'll see you in the next video.